TP-Link makes one of the best Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems in the world, and today we are going to review their latest Wi-Fi 7 mesh system called TP-Link Deco BE68 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. So in this review, we are going to do the Wi-Fi speed and coverage test to see if TP-Link can deliver the performance they claim. So let's first do an unboxing and see its contents. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems comes with outstanding packaging. It comes with some quick start guides, power adapters for each unit, and an ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. It is a tri-band Wi-Fi 7, eight internal antennas, MU MIMO, OFDMA, MLO, seamless AI roaming, 320 megahertz bandwidth, multi-RUS, 4K QAM, wireless and wired backhaul, eight streams, can connect up to 200 devices, and works with Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let's look at the ports. There is one 10 gigabits per second port, one 2.5 gigabits per second port, and one gigabits per second port for both WAN and LAN with auto sensing. There is one USB 3.0 port, reset button, WPS button, and power connection. It supports total 14 gigabits per second bandwidth, and following is the breakdown. 6G supports 8,647 megabits per second, 5G supports 4,324 megabits per second, and 2.4G supports 688 megabits per second. Overall, the build quality is great, and I really like the case design. It is easy to integrate into any home environment, and plenty of ventilation helps the system to stay cool under heavy workloads. Now let's do some performance, coverage, and speed tests. So we place the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we used an Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market, and it is also backward compatible with Wi-Fi 6E devices. It will help us get the full potential of the TP-Link mesh performance. We are also using a 10 gig Ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connections in extreme corners in each floor of the house. Since Wi-Fi 7 mesh offers MLO capability, we conducted tests with MLO enabled and two tests with MLO disabled to compare them both and see if it makes any difference. If you are not familiar with MLO, it is a new capability offered by Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems or routers. It enabled devices to simultaneously send and receive data. Also, Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 client card is capable of MLO. We also made sure we have AXEHT enabled in the Wi-Fi card configuration. Let's review the results. First location, which is within five feet from the main Wi-Fi 7 mesh unit in the basement, we achieved full two gigabits per second for download and upload. Wi-Fi speeds without MLO enabled and 2.21 gigabits per second for both upload and download with MLO enabled. So definitely MLO has better performance with close range test. So basically we are saturating the full 2.4 G LAN speed from our open speed test server to the client. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement. And here we still achieved an average of 600 megabits per second for both upload and download without MLO enabled and an impressive average 922 megabits per second. Download and upload with MLO enabled. Next on the main floor to the left side of the house, we achieved a 710 megabits per second. Download in 656 megabits per second. Upload speeds without MLO enabled and 744 megabits per second download and 590 megabits per second upload with MLO enabled. These are one of the best results we have achieved at this location of the house compared to our previous Wi-Fi 7 or 6E routers and mesh units. Moving on to the right side, we achieved 795 megabits per second for download and 979 megabits per second for upload without MLO enabled and 780 megabits per second download and 956 megabits per second upload with MLO enabled. Again, one of the best scores ever. Moving on to the first floor to the left side, we achieved 993 megabits per second, download in 1.29 gigabits per second, upload without MLO enabled in 785 megabits per second, 
Download and 1.01 gigabits per second upload with MLO enabled. Here we first see MLO is not performing as well as dedicated 6G wireless backhaul connection. Impressive results, no doubt, but interesting outcome comparing both numbers. Then we move to the right side and achieve 962 megabits per second download and 1.02 gigabits per second for upload without MLO enabled and 549 megabits per second download and 620 megabits per second upload with MLO enabled. Again, these are the best score we have ever achieved at this location. So for the final test, we moved to garage and we achieved an impressive 565 megabits per second average without MLO enabled and 454 megabits per second average with MLO enabled. Again, these are the best results ever for this location as well. So what we learned from this performance review is that MLO is an excellent speeds for close or mid range. In order to take advantage of the MLO option, you need to have an MLO capable client. In the next test, we are using 10 GB NAS connected to 10 GB network port of the Wi-Fi 7 main mesh unit and using Wi-Fi 7 card based laptop, we were able to achieve full 2.4 gig wireless transfer speeds. Impressive results. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Wi-Fi. Setup was a very easy three-step process. All you have to do is download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have FIOS with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link's Deco app. Main page of the app shows you Wi-Fi settings, guest network. Then you have the complete internet to mesh units topology, and it shows everything looks good and connections between mesh units are strong. Also, it shows the number of devices connected to each unit, as you can see the numbers on each unit. Also, real-time upload and download bandwidth is being utilized and other great security features and reports to have better control over your Wi-Fi. Advanced Wi-Fi settings allows you to configure 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz networks with different SSIDs and password, and even set their security and channels configuration separately, which is a huge plus in my opinion. You also have an option to configure MLO network with all network bands combined or choose different combinations to your liking. There are all great options in the TP-Link Deco app for general or advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Deco, B68, B14000. Tri-band Wi-Fi 7 mesh system performed excellent in this review. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh system offers fastest speeds over 5,000 square feet. In our test, and I have full confidence, it will perform as good over 8,000 square feet coverage as advertised. We were able to get the best possible speeds in every corner of the house and even in the garage, which is amazing. Also, the MLO speed boost is amazing if you have MLO capable devices and it makes a tremendous difference in speed and latency. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh is equipped with 10 gig, 2.5 gig, and 1 gig WAN or LAN connections, so you can take full advantage of the fastest internet speeds offered by any internet service provider. And the best part is its price point at only $699 for three unit package at the time of this review. And it is very much more capable than its competition in every aspect. If you in the market for new Wi-Fi mesh system or Wi-Fi router, I highly recommend TP-Link's new Deco BE68 BE14000 Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And if you like this video, Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.